Hey, I want to talk about being in the will of God. And one of the sins that lead many people out of the will of God is sexual immorality. And I want to read a scripture in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 3. And it says, for this is the will of God. He's telling us, this is the will of God for our lives. Your sanctification that you keep away from sexual immorality that each of you knows how to control your own body in holiness and honor, not with lustful passions like the Gentiles who don't know God. He's saying sexual sin equates you in the category of not knowing God in the intimate relationship with him. Sexual sin is leading you out of God's perfect will for your life. It doesn't matter if you have the title of an apostle, prophet, pastor, teacher, evangelist, any title you may have self-appointed or any title you have. If you're or in sexual immorality, you are not in God's will. And your title doesn't mean you're in God's will. Your title is just an office that God has granted you with to equip the church. God bless people to have those titles, to equip the church, not just to have those titles. This goes for anyone who's not in the will of God. Sexual immorality is one of the many, many issues that's going on in the body of Christ. And if you are caught in sexual immorality, even watching porn, that's sexual sin. You have to search your heart and say, God, I have to get this lust out of me because I am not in the will of God according to your word. And I also want to read, share with you in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, Apostle Paul is telling the Corinthians church who was struggling with sexual sin to do not be deceived. Anybody who's caught in sexual sin will not inherit the kingdom of God. Anybody who's caught in a homosexual relationship will not inherit the kingdom of God. And he tells them that this was your past. This was supposed to be your past life. Don't bring your past into your future. Allow God to cleanse you humiliate yourself what that means is humble yourself before god almighty you have to be humble you you, you have to choose humility over over your popularity you have to choose humility over your character because when you're humble god will deliver you when, you're, when you have a repentive heart, like David had in Psalms 51, when Prophet Nathan pointed out his sin to him. Sometimes we need people to point our sins to us so that we could repent from it. And stop hiding from people who have God heart that's trying to tell you the truth. You need to be confronted of your sin. That's the only way you will get healed and delivered. I just want to encourage you today to get in the will of God and flee sexual immorality. There's some practical steps I want to give you to avoid sexual sin, such as monitoring what you're watching on TV, monitoring what you're listening to, and monitoring the conversations. All those are portals into your soul, your eye gate, and your ear gate. You have to protect your spirit man at all times. The number one, your number one priority in this world should be, am I in the will of God?